Look at the paddles on that thing. That is definitely the bull I was looking for. I was absolutely astound at the amount of comments that we got in yesterday's video. Absolutely astound. I couldn't believe how many of you guys commented on the video and it took so much time to actually listen to what I was talking about and understand kind of just how important life actually really is. Now, a lot of people were asking questions that were pretty detailed and they basically just wanted to know, is that, I just saw a bull out taking off over there. But they basically wanted to know exactly what happened to me and honestly it's too difficult to tell you exactly what happened because so many things happened i just wanted to give you kind of like a brief description of what happened in a short period of time but anyways thank you so much it really means a lot that you guys watched the video and commented on it and i don't even want to get into the likes we had so many likes that it wasn't even funny Remember when I told you there was a really nice bull moose and a white tail buck that we had to get? We chose the white tail buck, but there's the bull moose 250 yards away. We have the 300 magnum. We definitely need a broadside shot. That's not exactly what I had in mind for a broadside shot, but uh, well, I think what we're gonna do is try and sneak along the edge of this railroad bridge here and try and get to like the middle of it. Then we should be able to have a broadside at least quartering away at about 2, 250. We should be about 250 right here, so I think this is going to work out good. And there's our big bull right there. Man, I think we're going to have to hold right below the spine and try and catch kind of like the top of the heart. Because if we hold too high, we might hit that vertebrae and we do not want to do that. All right, here we go. Got the 300 Magnum. He's 200 yards out. I mean, that's exactly where I'd want it. So that should be a smoke bull. Ooh, he just bolted. Well, either that bull is super, super tough or we made a pathetic shot. Oh, hold up. We got a nice white tail buck out there at about 240 yards. It's a tough angle. It's a real tough angle. Good, we got him. I actually held kind of on top of the lung because I wanted to get a little bit of drop. And the fact that he didn't drop is actually a good thing, because if he would have dropped, that would have been a spinal cord shot. But that should have been a nice double lung shot. So we'll have to go over there in a second and see what we did over there. But right now, we're over here looking for our bull. And right there is a nice vital hit. That's where our bull is standing. Well, actually, he was technically bedded right here. And we saw him run at least like 250 yards. So hopefully we can figure out where he went. It's going to be kind of difficult. We got some more blood here. And here we have our big bull moose laying right here. Let's take a look at him. That's a solid bull. I saw him a couple different times now, and he's definitely a really wide, solid, solid bull. Let's pick him up and see how we did. That's going to be a 206 gold. We ended up getting a right lung shot at 190. Actually, a little bit higher than I would have liked. You see how close we were to that vertebrae? That's why I wanted to hold low, so we did not hit that vertebrae. We almost nicked it. Caught the top of the lung, though. 193 yards at a 206 bull moose down. I see what I'm pretty sure is a white-tailed deer, but I just spotted a coyote, but I don't even see a coyote, unless, what did I just shoot at? Oh man, I don't even know. I don't even know what's happening. I thought that was a white-tailed deer. But if you look right there, there lays our white-tailed buck that we got from before, so we're not going to have any trouble tracking him. I definitely saw our buck piled up right here. But now I cannot see where he's at. Oh, wait a second. That's going to be a 193 gold white tail. We did get an awesome double lung shot at 236. You see, I held for the top of the lung, hoping we'd get some drop. And we did, in fact, get just that. But we smoked that buck 236 yards and a 193 gold white tail. Check this out. We got a rare piebald Drake Mallard duck, and he's a gold potential. He's 30 yards in front of us here. We happen to have the bow, and we're going to take him down. And there he lays right there. That should be a gold potential. Oh, we got a white tail buck over there too. Let's take a look at that. That is a really nice white tail buck. Wow. 
Where did that thing come from? Holy. Well, he trotted off somewhere over there, probably 350 yards out in that thick, thick brush over there. So we couldn't quite take the shot. That's a doe. Oh my god, I thought that was him. But what we do know now is at least there's quite a few white teal in this herd. And they should be going somewhere. So we'll go over there in a second and see where they're actually going to. And try and find that big old buck. But for now, let's hop down and take a look at our rare piebald. And here, ladies, our rare gold potential Drake piebald mallard duck. We just took him out of that tent right there at about 20 yards out. And these things look incredible. Got some really good lighting there. And there's the tent we took him out of. Actually, that's going to be kind of a cool picture if we could take one just like that. And let's pick him up and see just how big he's going to be. That's going to be a gold, a 16.8 gold piebald mallard duck. We took him at 32 yards out. And we should probably get him out in because he looks really, really cool. Okay, guys, so there's our buck right there. We slid over to roughly 250 yards out from him here. He's going to be trotting again. I really don't want to take a trotting shot, but he might slow up enough. This buck is absolutely hauling through here. And we just smoked him. He was about uh, 315 probably. There's the doe. I don't see the buck. And that's because he's down. Man, that was an awesome shot. I want to go back and take a look at how much of a lead we put on that buck. I would say probably about like four foot on the trot at about 330 yards. As we're heading over here to go pick up our buck, I'll show you where we're at right now. We're on the very, very north end of the map by Calburn here. I have a tent set up here because it's a really good spot for ducks. We took down the piebald mallard duck right here and the white tail was right here. I don't know if he was drinking or feeding or just wandering around or what, but that's where he's at. And it is about 1300 in the afternoon. We took him down right here. What I, If I had to take a guess, I would say he's probably feeding somewhere up here. I do want to continue on to look up here and see if there's going to be a zone somewhere, but who knows. Well, he was standing right here, and that's looking like some pretty good vital blood right there. It looks like he was heading out this way. It's actually kind of hard to see the rest of the blood here, but you can see where all the grass is padded down here. That means the white tail definitely came through here. So as long as we keep on this trail here, look, there's some more blood right there. It should lead us to our buck. Some good blood there. And there, ladies, our beautiful white tail buck. I'm really curious where we actually did hit him. He was probably, like I said, about 315 on the trot. But that's going to be a really cool picture just like that. So we'll take a picture. And let's pick him up and see how we did. That's going to be a 302 yard left lung shot. I mean, was that not a heart shot? Like how? Okay. How is this possible? We smoked him the left lung. It went through okay what what am i missing here how did it go through the right lung but not hit the right lung how did it go through the heart but not hit the heart and it came out the back lung and the opposite shoulder blade how in the heck is it even possible that right there should have been a trotting 300 yard double lung heart shot all day long if not double lung heart it definitely should have been double lung I mean, it's still an amazing shot. I'm super, super happy with it. And a giant 216 white tail buck. But I just don't even know like what to say about that. But what a giant white tail and what an incredible shot with a 6.5 bolt action rifle. Look at the paddles on that thing. That is definitely the bull I was looking for. He's about 260 yards out and he's pretty broadside. He's quartering away a little bit. Kind of similar to that last bull that we got off the railroad bridge there, but 
This one's going to be a little bit bigger. Definitely. That's going to be like a 220 or 230s, maybe. I mean, he's got some massive paddles on both sides of him, actually. Thing is, we can't get any closer at this point. We're going to have to hold for the heart. I'm going to have to hold for the top of the heart at 250 and hope that it drops in there perfectly. That was perfect. Just smoked that giant bull. That was absolutely perfect. I mean, if I had to take that shot again, I would do the exact same thing. And now I'm getting even more confident because take a look right there. That's an awesome vital hit. And let's see if we can't find this big old bull moose. More blood here. More blood here. Got some blood there. And here lays our biggest bull moose yet. Right here. Take a look at the size of the paddle. That is an incredible looking bull right there. Honestly, I bet if he had both sides the same, he probably would have scored somewhere around like a, I don't know, 240 or 250 or something like that. Either way, he's definitely a massive bull. So we'll take a really cool picture of him. And that looks cool like that. Let's pick him up. That's going to be a 236 scoring bull moose. We made a left lung shot at 237 yards. Centered the lung pretty nicely and just missed the top of the heart there. But it seems like we didn't have enough penetration to even hit the heart, even if we were a little bit lower. What an awesome shot, though, and a massive bull moves down. He weighed 1,241 pounds. So I do want to show you where we hunted today for the bull moose and kind of what time it was. Basically, we've been hunting at, well, we were here by Runeshi before, and the moose was over here bedded. Um, okay, there was a resting zone, 1,300 until 17. Okay, here it is. So 1,300 until 1,700, which is basically the same time that the whitetail drink over here by Rudenchi. Basically, you go to this railroad bridge here. You can hunt for whitetail and moose the exact same time if they bed in this area. That's where we took down the first bull. And now we're over here on the very south end of the map um, by this little kind of bayou that goes up in here. And basically, he was out. What was he doing? He was drinking. And it was uh, 11 o'clock in the morning. So they drink from 930 until 1300. He was right here, that big old bull. And it was about 1130 in the morning. Well, I thought we'd get our big bull moose mounted here. And he looks incredible. Honestly, I'm really glad we did get him mounted. He's actually pretty symmetrical. But he scored 236 and we got him with the 300 Magnum. We had a really good hunt today. And we took one of the most incredible shots that I've ever had on that whitetail buck walking at about 315 yards with a 6.5. But anyways, with that, that's gonna pretty much wrap up this video. I do wanna say one more thing though, and that is, you guys are all amazing people, but um, a lot of people have been asking me if I have an address that they could send me different things to, like, you know, mail or gifts or whatever you wanna send. Um, but yeah, now I do have a PO box. The link's gonna be in the description below, so you can definitely um, just check that out if you wanna send anything there. Go for that. So anyways, that's going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.